Field Marshal. It's done. We're ready. You're sure? As sure as I've ever been. You heard him. Everyone to your stations. This is the first step toward victory, Rikan. Toward a galaxy where everyone is... Are you sure about this? Did you not hear what I told Hedda? I'm not asking if you're ready. I'm asking if you think this is right. I think it's too late for these questions. And it's what Hedda wants. That's all that matters. Rakan! Don't ask again, Zahar. Now get going. I don't want anyone blaming me when you don't pull your weight. Take Galar's squad and get to the Lambda Sector. Move! Mandalore, we're receiving reports of hidden chain activity across three sectors. Requesting guidance to prioritize response teams. I said get your people moving! Now! Mandalore. Hedda's come out of hiding, but her people are attacking everywhere at once. I need to know you hear what I'm telling you. Mandalore. Shay! This meeting better be worth it. I can't stand all this sneaky, underhanded spy stuff. I detest creeping about in the shadows. We should be facing the enemy head on. Yeah, you're definitely the kind that likes to make an entrance. Let's just get what we came for and get out of here before we draw too much attention. I know we gotta do whatever it takes to track down Hedda, but dealing with smugglers is tricky on a good day. It's even worse when Harita Wald is involved. Your contact won't be pleased that you brought me to deal with them. Why not? Because I killed their leader. That was you. Wow. Feek must have really crossed the wrong person. Matching uniforms now. Wonder how Hedda got them to agree to that. Rats.
I didn't think they were alone. Well, look on the bright side. We don't have to track down the hidden chain if they come right to us. Thank <laughs> you. 
one from Clan Rodark. That's not good. <laughs> Like what they used to board Shay's flagship. Huh. Can't say I'm impressed by the lack of imagination. We can't break the tether without damaging the station. How do we stop them from coming through? Maybe we should send a little gift their way. A place like this probably has explosives just flying around. when I said it, but they really do have explosives just lying around.
come down? No. Can anyone, if you can, don't let us go. Loading bay 37. Loading bay 37. Guess we know where we're heading next. There they are. That could be a problem. What do you think? How do you want to play this? No different than any other time. I go in and make them beg for their lives. That ought to do the trick. You take point. Let them see who's coming. I've got your back. Form up, Clan Braylor! for the strength of Clan Braylor! Everybody good? Yeah. Thanks. If you're well enough to stand, you're well enough to walk. Get moving. Such incivility is far from uncommon in this place. But nothing like this. 
Your assistance is appreciated. But I would expect nothing less from one of the Sith Academy's most illustrious students. It's apparent that you have surpassed our expectations for you. What is an overseer doing in a cesspit like this? I was an overseer. I renounced the title when Asina declared we would be loyal to the Eternal Empire. Why bother training the next generation of Sith when our leaders will throw everything away at the first sign of hardship? Rass, where's the commander? Right here, Jet. But we're kinda in the middle of something. Head has come out of hiding. Hidden chain strike teams are moving on targets across the galaxy, all at once. I had a feeling that's what was happening. What do you mean? Jakaya. Nibana. What's- Rass, later. When everything's calmed down, I'll tell you more. There's no pattern to these attacks. Another happens as soon as we put one down. I don't have enough people to keep up. Intel says the hidden chain are going to hit an out-of-the-way spot on Ord Mantel. I'm out of people to send there. I care nothing for the fate of that backwater planet. But I am certain no one wishes to see a war between Mandalorian brutes spread. I can take care of this, Jakaya. You'll be walking into hostile territory just to hunt down a completely different enemy. And I have no backup to give you. You sure you want to do this? Do you want my help or not? I'm not saying I don't. I just want to make sure you fully understand what you're signing up for. Ras, I need you with me. On my way. Is it me or did Jakaya sound... I don't know. Not like Jakaya. Why are you still here? You are going to require ample preparation if you want to move about Ord Mantell freely. Why do you say that? A Sith Lord, skulking about a Republic planet facing off against Mandalorian raiders. Need I say more? You'll need someone to help you work without drawing attention. Unless you want the entirety of the Republic military to converge on your position? Let me guess, you know just the person. Unfortunately for you, the best person for the job is Gizmo Gam, a lowlife in an insignificant political office based out of a rubbish heap called Kesson's Landing. I won't say how I know, but I can assure you Gizmo will be more than agreeable to collaborating with the Empire. I'll take your word for it. Sounds like you've got what you need. If you've got it from here, I need to get moving. I've never seen Jack so impatient. Get back to Jakaya. Tell him I've got this under control.
course the coward's not here. So much for that open door policy Gam's been going on about. Ha! How does he come up with this stuff? And how do people keep falling for it? He always thinks he can wait out the consequences. He's not dodging us this time. Don't worry. He's gotta come back eventually. I'm not waiting around all day. I say if he doesn't come back soon, we go looking for him. Hey! What in blazes are you doing here? Probably not. But I'm not gonna just roll over for you either. What do you want? Ha 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 ha! Get in line! If we knew where he was, you think we'd be standing around here like idiots? What a great offer. Look, we don't want any trouble. If we knew where to find Gam, we'd tell you. If you let us walk out of here alive, then we can tell you where he likes to hang around. Try the cantina or grill speeder shop. Even if he's not there, someone's probably seen him. Can we go? But you said... <laughs> <laughs> The public doesn't do squat to help take care of this place. Why do we bother paying for their protection? You said it. Can't remember the last time they helped keep my scrapyard open. Hey, some strangers and me. Snooping around Port Next time that crook Gizmo darkens my doorstep, like lock him in the chiller. His tab is longer than a Wookiee's leg, and it's time to pay up. I wish I knew where the Vornells ended up. It's a steal, he said. The investment opportunity of a lifetime, he said. Oh, I swear, Gizmo, when I get my hands on you and Liss... Sestri's missing. Her husband hasn't seen her for weeks. Gizmo really paid me a pile of credit to not to tell anyone where he was. I told him if someone comes is. along with a better offer, I'm taking it. He's been hiding out in the Leggett Lounge. Seediest place on Ord Mantel. You better move fast. He's more slippery than a fleek eel.
I told you it wouldn't be ready until tomorrow, Nolum. We talked about this, remember? These things take time. You gotta have patience and put some trust in old Gizmo. Oh, jeez. Oh, how did you find me? I mean, why would you want to find me? Who hired you? Which coward sent you to do their dirty work? Believe me, I am very helpful in any and every way, especially when my life is on the line, like I suspect it might be. So, what can I do for you? Need something fast? Credits? Something to take the edge off? A hush-hush ride out of Kesson's Landing? Whatever you can dream of, I've got it all. Absolutely! After one tiny little favor, of course. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. And all that. Normally this place is last on the Republic's list of priorities, but for some reason a few of my most recent business enterprises caught the attention of SIS. They've got agents following me around every corner. I've been laying low while they sniff around, but I gotta get out there among the people if you want information. You get those agents off my back, and I'll get you every last scrap of information you're looking for. I understand. Believe me, I do. But, I hate to break it to you, I'm not only your best bet, I'm your only option. You see, being aligned with the Empire's interests and all, you're going to have a hard time finding anyone around here who will extend you a helping hand. Folks aren't quite as open-minded as I am. You get what you need from me, or you don't get it at all. Come on. It'll be easy. Someone like you could get this done in no time. I'm going to assume you've been to my office already. If you head back there, you can pick up a few toys to help you root out where those busy buddies are hiding. Once you find them, make sure they can never bother me again. If you catch my meaning, signal me with this when the job's done, and I'll meet you at my office. Pleasure doing business with you!
Dropping off supplies for Ko and her cronies at the... Take a breath. Going to recommend permanent surveillance. If we leave this place too long without a babysitter, things will go sour fast. Sorry, friend. We're about to lock up for the day. What? What, what, what are you talking about? Is there a, a problem? We honestly don't know what's going on. Whoa, there's no need for all that. If you just... Uh...
That's not necessary. What are you doing here, Krovos? Funny. I was just wondering the same thing. Your new friend was very concerned about your presence in Kesson's Landing. What? What are you talking about? Quiet. A member of the Dark Council is speaking. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, of course. There is a healthy dose of dissidence in this part of Ord Mantel. A separatist movement that's been dormant for years is beginning to stir. This man supplies those separatists with rations, weapons, whatever they need. For his trouble, an anonymous benefactor pays him offensively large sums of credits. That is an absurd and, frankly, a reprehensible accusation. I serve everyone, to the absolute best of my ability. Your benefactor works for me. The Empire has many vigilant servants in every corner of Ord Mantel. When you reached out to your contact, inquiring about the size of the ransom the Empire would pay for such an infamous visitor, word passed quickly to me. That's not... You can't. You little worm. I've killed for less than this. I know. I know. It was stupid. What was I supposed to do? You bust down my door, start sniffing around. I couldn't turn down such a well-timed opportunity. If I were to be perfectly honest, I appreciate the fact that you were so eager to take advantage of this situation. But I would hate for all that I have invested on Ord Mantel to go to waste due to one man's greed and stupidity. I have also received reports that the rift among the Mandalorians is spreading, in a way that threatens the Empire's interests across the galaxy. I will not allow these hidden chain Mandalorians to disrupt what I have built here. Together, you and I will ensure they meet a swift end. I had no time to consult the rest of the Dark Council about this. I'm relieved I didn't need to. That is understandable, especially so considering your close proximity to the current leader of the Mandalorians. However, I have a vested interest in the network of resources and information that has been established here. I will see to its preservation myself. With my help, we can put an end to this distraction quickly and return to our business, without destroying years of work. We will require assistance from local agents sympathetic to our interests. Me? You want my help? I thought my part was finished. Are you saying you are of no use to us? You make a very convincing argument. And anyway, I reckon that Mandalorians running through the streets would put a damper on expanding my business prospects. Now that you mention it, I've got a separate aspire who's been real pushy lately. More than usual. Keeps talking about something big they've got in the works. Could be connected to this hidden chain you're all worried about. Could be coincidence? Only one way to find out. What do you suggest? I just dropped a weapon shipment for the Spire. I'll shoot her a quick hollow call, tell her I forgot something. That'll buy us time before she makes the pickup. Meanwhile, you two go to the drop point, wait for her to show up, and find out if she's in with these Mandalorians. Piece of cake. Except for one thing. How do you know she won't run when she sees us? Ah, you see, my buyer and I always arrange handoffs in the geothermal station outside of town. There's an old ventilation shaft that'll get you in and out completely unnoticed. Use that for the old element of surprise, and she'll never see you coming. This better not be some kind of trap. I understand your suspicion, really. I do. But I know a good deal when it's in front of me. I'll keep my ear to the ground while you're gone, see if I can pick up anything else that'll get you ready for this attack. Do not let him out of your sight. I'll just, uh, do all my asking around from in here, I guess.
Watch out for the gas! In there! Gizmo, you failed to mention there were pockets of hot gas in this ventilation shaft. Right. Sorry, that happens sometimes. Someone switches a wrong lever or two. Or three. There's a controlled terminal somewhere in there. Should be quick and easy to shut off the gas. I suppose Gizmo's plan to interrogate the separatists is out of the question. At least now we have answers about their involvement in the hidden chain.
Out of the way, now! Let's see how you fare against me. That is quite enough. Okay, okay. Take it easy, and don't come near me. Did you really think you stood a chance against them? It's not like I had a choice. What was I supposed to do? Let them drag me out of here? Put me in chains? I was trying to find my sister. I haven't seen her in days. Mina works here, so I thought... I ran into them instead. How fortunate for you that we arrived when we did. I had it under control. You call that under control? I got away from them for a minute, before you showed up. But I messed up. Got distracted. Distracted? By what? Cooling rods. They're the only things keeping the thermal station from blowing half of Ord Mantell into a crater. Those Gundarks in the fancy armor were taking crates full of them out of here. I tried to stop them, or at least slow them down. If we don't find those cooling rods and put them back, this whole place is going up.
I have a mission to stop the hidden chain. Might be hard for you to do that if Kesson's landing is wiped off the face of the planet. We need a backup plan, quickly. Damn it! My sister told me about this. There's a quick fix, but I'll need your help. What do you need me to do? We can redirect the water from the reservoir into the back spillway. That should provide enough coolant to keep things stable. For now. Someone's gotta watch my back in case there's any more of them around. And someone's gotta stay here to flip the spillway switch when I give the signal. I'll stay here. Contact me at once if you need backup. Let's go! I'm surprised you didn't try to fight me too, or run. I don't care who you are. You let me live. I've got no problem with you. Not sure if you care, but my name's Petra, by the way. We need to get the runoff channels open. We'll have to do it manually. It's, uh... I'm pretty sure it's that one. It's getting very hot in here. Blast! I was hoping I was just imagining it. Temperature levels are at 50% over capacity. It's not that one! from the reservoir into the spillway. 90% over capacity. Should be everything. Tell your friend to hit the switch. Krovos, open the spillway now. Everything seems to be returning to normal. I don't see any other alerts. Good. Keep watching. If anything changes, let me know. I'm gonna find out where the rest of the hidden chain went. Understood. We're in the clear for now, but long term, those cooling rods have got to go back where they belong. The people who took the cooling rods, do you know where they might have gone? Well, there's no place for shuttles to take off from here, and they couldn't have moved them all on foot. Hey, I don't have long, and I know you don't either. It's fine, Russ. What's going on? There's something you need to know. Not tomorrow, not in a little while. Jakaya, he's taking way too long to say it. So, he asked you to tell me? No, he's so focused on what's going on, he didn't even notice me sneak away to call you. I don't know how else to say this. Mandalore is missing. Missing? What do you mean? I mean, no one can find her. Jack can't even get in touch with her over comms. The traitors are out in full force, and it's like she's just... disappeared. I'm fighting Shay's enemies for her, and she's hiding. 
If she doesn't turn up soon... We're working on it, okay? You just keep an eye on Ormantel. Speaking of, how's it going down there? We are trying to stop this place from melting down, remember? Who was that? What's she talking about? I found her holding off a group of hidden chain, by herself. She says they've taken cooling rods out of this geothermal station. Do you know what Heta would want with something like that? Not a clue, but I'll let Jakai know about this. You need anything, call, all right? All these strangers show up and my sister disappears. And like an idiot, I've been helping one of the strangers. That Mandalorian you were talking to? How do I know he doesn't have something to do with all this? How do I know that you don't have something to do with all of this? If I were working with the Hidden Chain, why would I kill them? Why would I help you? I don't know. Why would you? Let's just get this over with. As many cooling rods as Amandos took, they'd need something big to move them. There's an old tram system that runs out of here. It's not in the best shape, but it would get the job done. It's a start. Fine. It's this way. Opening the spillway must have worked. It doesn't feel quite as hot anymore. Yeah, but it's only a temporary fix. I don't even want to think about what will happen if we don't get any of those cooling rods back. All the trams are gone. But we can find out where they went. Come on. This data is a mess, but it looks like the trams were heading toward a supply depot. Fort Ronick. I know it. It's a good place as any to start looking. I'll show you where it is. Faster we get this done, faster I can get back to looking for my sister. Krovos, are you there? Here, and waiting for an update. We might know where to find the cooling rods. Fort Ronick. If the Separatists let the hidden chain in there, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. I need a way in that won't raise their alarms. Contact Gizmal. Lean on him for any intel he has on the area. I'm not entirely certain we should take his advice on infiltration again. But I will see what he has to say. to Gizmo. He mentioned a collapse in the tram tunnels. Apparently it was caused by seismic activity from the geothermal station. So we might be able to catch the cooling rods before they get to the fort. We can try. There are maintenance hatches that can get us into the tram system. Let's see if we find any smashed up separatists.
The crash knocked out the power to the whole tram. How do we get this door open? Hold on a second. There's a gunk droid. Hook the little guy up to the door panel. He'll have enough juice to get us into the tram. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is painfully slow. Give it a second. I'm sure it's nowhere near as fancy as the droids you're used to. But I promise, it'll get the job done. No cooling rods in here. Hold on. What's in there? Are those... cages? What is all this? What were they doing? Mina! Mina! Oh no! Rami! Don't! It's fine. I didn't know him that well. He was a friend of Mina's. No one's seen him the last few days, either. I was starting to think that maybe they just... ran off somewhere. Somewhere better than here. And she'd call and tell me how great it is. That's what I get for hoping, I guess. Yeah. I guess. If that's what you want to call it. We need to finish this. This hidden chain scum has a lot to answer for. You don't have to tell me twice. It's always been us against the rest of the galaxy. But we were never ready for this. I want to make them regret ever setting foot on Orb Mantel. Have you made any progress in retrieving the cooling rods? Of course that's all she cares about. I doubt you imps care, but these are my neighbors. My family. I'm not interested in looking for anything else but them. The situation is not ideal, of course. But I hope you remember where your loyalties lie. If we retrieve those cooling rods, keep them out of the Republic's hands, we turn an increasingly discontented populace against them. And if the Empire returns the rods, if we save this little backwater settlement, imagine what they'll offer in gratitude. Understood. But when the dust has settled on your path of destruction, perhaps consider what I have said. I understand that you are allied with the Mandalorian leader, but do not forget your other obligations in all of this. Krivos out. Fort Ronick isn't far from here. I bet a month's wages they just walk the rest of the way. You want to take out the rest of the hidden chain? Let's go find them. Our friend Gizmo has some information he would like to pass along. He claims there is a hidden entrance to Fort Ronig that would offer you the advantage of a surprise attack. Do with that what you will. Considering Gizmo's most recent suggestions at the geothermal station, I would advise caution. I know the entrance she's talking about. Come on.
I've got the cooling rods! Ah! You're going to get us all killed! Unbelievable. Nothing to say for yourself! Not until we find out where they're keeping their prisoners. Destroying these? Killing you? I will have served the cause well. Where are the people you took? They're coming. Get the assets off world. We need to get out of here. Yes! Right behind you! That sounded really bad! There's nothing we can do about it now. Keep moving.
Trusted separatists. Can't believe they've taken things this far. Nina, please tell me you're not somehow mixed up in all this. Mina, thank goodness you're still here. You showed up just in time. Some of the others are already gone. They just came and took some more. Wouldn't be long before they came back for the rest of us. Can you get everyone out of here? Yeah, I think so. Make sure you avoid the lower level. The Separatists collapse the caves. Then we'll find another way back to town. Everyone, we're not out of this yet, but it's not over. If we want to make sure the Separatists and whoever these thugs are that helps them pay for what they're doing, we need to make it home. Stay together, watch each other's backs. Let's go! Don't let them take anyone else. Got the rest of the cooling rods.
I heard it was you who was meddling in my raid. Looks like Vizsla doesn't even bother to come along anymore. Just sends you out to clean up her mess. Well, I guess it's only fair. Seeing how she had us running your errands for as long as we did. Who is he? I don't know. You're better than this. You've got strength and skill that would put some of my elite to shame. Field Marshal Cole rewards people like us. She'd welcome your help, if you ever get tired of being Shay's bootlicker. Shay has accomplished more than you or Heta could ever dream of. I owe her for the times she's helped me. Everything people know her for is long in the past. She's not fit to lead us into the future we deserve. The Field Marshal is. I don't abandon my allies. I knew you were weak, but I had no idea you were this stupid. Kesarim! Broken Blade, a lore of Clan Baran. Know my name, weaklings, and tremble in fear. <laughs> I will delight in your death. 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 <laughs> I will delight in your death! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I will delight in your death. <laughs> My blade is howling for your blood. <laughs> I will delight in your death! 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 <laughs> You made the biggest mistake of your life, Arawati. Field Marshal Cole will have your pretty head for this. 
I'm not afraid of Hedda. No? What about everyone else? What do you think will happen when you don't have her favor anymore? I don't care. Your brother won't protect you. Shut up! Hell, Rakan would give anything for the honor of killing you, traitor. I am Tyrus Farad! I am the Broken Blade! And I will shatter you into pieces! You're obviously here for a reason. Let's hear it. Okay. Let's talk. What's going on? You're not working with the Hidden Chain anymore. Not exactly. Hedda's opened the holocron that we... that I took from Elom. She found plans on it. For a machine. Her followers are collecting what she needs to build it. I tried to tell Hedda I won't help her do this. But you don't say no to Hedda. You don't walk away. I don't know if I want to walk away. I've been doing what I can to sabotage them, but trying not to get caught makes it impossible to do anything. I need help. Real help. If what you're saying is true, how have you gotten away with as much as you have? Luck? Too much trust on their part? Whatever it is, I think I'm running out of it. Things are getting much worse. Feel much- ah! I'm- I didn't- Look at how pathetic he is. Killing him would be doing him a favor. This galaxy is ruthless, Sahar. You have to do whatever is necessary to survive. My master and I were on the run for years, dodging the Eternal Empire. We always found another way. I knew this would get complicated, but... I need to cover my tracks. Set some things up before anyone gets suspicious. I do want your help, but... I'm getting that holocron away from Hedda. Whether or not you agree to it. She can't be allowed to keep it. I'll do what you need me to. Thank you. When I'm ready to move, I'll let you know. Your friend is gone. What's your status? I'll tell you more later, but for now, the hidden chain are gone. As expected. 
I'll be waiting in Gam's office for debriefing. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. What happened to you? About that. I thought about coming to talk to you in person. But something tells me that two Sith aren't going to let someone like me walk away from that conversation. But I wanted to make sure I thanked you. You opened a lot of eyes around here. People here are not happy. Word's already getting around about the Separatists opening our door for the Mandalorians. They want to know how things got this far. They want someone to blame. ...and someone to help clean up the mess. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. Maybe I'm tired of everyone ignoring people like my sister. Maybe I think getting help from someone like you is the only way to change things. I don't see much point in sticking my neck out for the Republic. They sure as hell don't do it for us. They're not going to do anything to make the Separatists pay for this. But I will. Most people would do nothing in response to the Separatists. I don't feel like I have any other choice. You do have some skill in wielding the Force. I can get you into the Sith Academy. Not interested, and I'm going to go now before your offer turns into a demand. I hope you aren't too disappointed by Gizmal's absence. He was called to help oversee the... situation at the geothermal plant. And you let him go? He won't run away. He will make sure everyone remembers that this happened on the Republic's watch. I do wish this situation had yielded more than a mild threat of unrest. To compensate? I would like to identify other methods through which we can sway them to our side. There are other favors we can offer Kesson's Landing. A show of such generosity will push them to further resent the Republic's negligence. An excellent plan. It won't be long before the Empire's influence here can be spread openly. That is only the first step. We will find other areas where the Republic has fallen short, and we will exploit them. Before the Hidden Chain arrived, the complaints against the Republic were whispers. They are quickly turning into shouting in the streets. The fire is starting. We just need to fan the flames. I'm here! I'm here! <laughs> Took me longer than expected. Had to double back a few times. Didn't want anyone following me and discovering you fine folks. But I made it back. I'm sure the two of you are excited. Those Mandos really did a number on this place. Snatching people off the streets, throwing in with the Separatists. Everyone's worried about the geothermal station. It didn't go kaboom, but it's still going to take a long time to fix. An unintended circumstance. Sorry to hear that? But I guess you're done with me. There's no way I have any part in this from here on out. Right? Oh, but you do. We encountered several missteps because of your suggestions. I think your continued service to the Empire will be an excellent way to make amends. That's not such a good idea. I had Republic heat on me before you showed up, and it'll only get worse from here. What about weapons? 
medical supplies. Separatists aren't going to be in the market for that stuff right now. They've got to focus on their numbers. Would that make up for everything? The only thing that can make up for your incompetence is your life. Is it wise to throw away resources so heedlessly? We have more important issues to discuss. Someone unexpected has offered to help me put an end to Heta Cole's rebellion, Sahar Katin. She claims that when the time is right, we will strike at the heart of the hidden chain. It must be a ruse, an obvious attempt at lowering your defenses. Although it is unexpectedly slow-witted of the hidden chain to send a Jedi to try and earn your confidence. Accepting her help would be a foolish decision on your part, one that would make me sincerely question your judgments. She is weak. If she is having doubts, we should exploit them. Show her the path to the dark side. She was a Jedi, then a Mandalorian. Now she reaches out to you. I am hesitant to place any trust in someone who cannot seem to determine where her loyalty should go. Even if she were telling the truth, it would not change how much we have at stake. She would be useless to us without Darth Null's holocron. But I suppose this conversation is irrelevant for now. Yes. Unless the Padawan actually follows through with her plans. Dahar. Sahar! Where are you? I told you I'm not going to cover for you if you fall behind. Sorry, Rakan. I'll be back soon. What happened? Nothing. I was tracking something down. For Hedda. But it was a dead end. That's all. Just hurry up. <laughs> 